new promotional images from Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes have been revealed. In the past few hours, several promotional images have been released, which contain more information about the movie and even show the characters with different clothes than the ones we saw in the trailer. These images reveal clues to the story and could confirm certain theories that we have been talking about for a few months, such as the possibility that the human in the story is actually an astronaut. So if you want to see these new images and what it means for the movie, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. The first image has an orange background, similar to the posters from the original movies. In this one, we can see Noah with his eagle riding his horse. In the background of the image, we can see the symbol of Caesar, which is the symbol of hope and unity among the apes. We can also see part of the Forbidden Zone. And at the bottom, we can read that it says, Early Access Screening on May 8, 2024. This means that it will be released two days earlier for fans. This poster is classic and doesn't reveal much information about the movie. Let's move on to the next poster. This one is quite interesting as we can see Proximus Caesar with his men on the platform. This poster mentions that the movie will be in theaters on May 10th, but in this scene, we can also see something we hadn't seen in the trailers, and that is Proximus Caesar with one of the electricity sticks. Proximus Caesar is the villain of this movie, and it has been mentioned that he is an ape in search of technology to conquer the planet. The use of electricity is undoubtedly something that gives an advantage to Proximus Caesar's tribe but we don't know very well what the origin of this invention is. Some theories point out that Proximus Caesar has found this technology in the Forbidden Zone, the place where the remains of human civilization are. While other theories suggest that Proximus Caesar may have stolen this technology from Noah's tribe, as there are also several scenes in which we see him with this electric stick. The next image is one that was used to promote Screen X, and it is quite similar to the first one we first showed. We can see Noah at sunset with his hawk, but in the last poster revealed, the one from Dolby, we can find many interesting clues. First, let's talk about Noah, who is shown with his electric stick. We can also see that he is holding a hawk in his hand. In a previous video, we mentioned that the apes of Noah's tribe have to go through an initiation ritual when they reach a certain age, where they have to tame a hawk. Part of this ritual was shown in the trailers, and this is very important for the apes as it symbolizes their connection with nature. But from what we see, only Noah's tribe has this ritual, as Caesar's tribe is more focused on technological advancement and not on that connection with nature. We can see that the image also occurs in the Forbidden Zone, but we can also see part of Noah's house in the trees. We have seen this house on fire in previous trailers, which leads us to understand that Proximus Caesar attacked the place where Noah's tribe lives, but we will talk about this later. But perhaps the most important of all the released posters is May's appearance. If you've been following this channel closely, since the first trailer we've mentioned that something doesn't add up with May, her clothes don't belong to that era. And on a few occasions, we've noticed that apparently, her clothes have been digitally modified to hide something. In this poster, we can notice several things. In her clothing, she is wearing green jeans with boots. She is also wearing what appears to be some sort of blue cut-off coat and a gray shirt underneath. But most importantly, we see that on his chest he wears the symbol of Caesar. This is the same necklace that we saw Proximus Caesar holding in one of the previous promotional images. But what does it all mean? First of all, the fact that May wears this symbol on her chest is evidence that this character is no stranger to Caesar's story. There is a connection between her and Caesar. Perhaps she is from a tribe of humans who have evolved following the teachings of the old primate. What is interesting about this is that in none of the trailers we see her in these clothes. This is a clue that was intended to be saved for the film, but perhaps the promos released it prematurely. May's clothes could evidence the theory that she is an astronaut since her clothes do not match those of her time, although of course, the necklace moves us in a different direction. One of the most common theories about May is that she is actually a human who comes from underground from a civilization that lives beneath the Forbidden Zone. This is the civilization that created the electricity batons. They are intelligent humans who can talk and who want to return to the surface. 
For some reason, May comes in contact with Proximus Caesar's tribe, and Noah starts to help her. This would explain why her clothing appears to be more modern than the rest of the humans in the film, as well as explaining why he carries the necklace in his hands. However, there is a third possibility, and it is tragic. In previous trailers, we saw Raka, who appears to be a spiritual leader of Caesar's tribe. Raka is the one who wears this necklace, and we see him mention that May is an intelligent human, and that is why Proximus is after her. We can also see a scene in the new IMAX trailer, where Noah is looking for Raka. And if Proximus Caesar takes the necklace from Raka, as we theorized in the previous video, this could mean that Raka loses his life, and May inherits this necklace. If indeed May now has Caesar's necklace thanks to Raka, this would again move May away from having an Earth origin. In my opinion, May is most likely an astronaut, although not one who has traveled from the past. Perhaps she is the daughter of an astronaut from a space station. Well, the last two images revealed are from Noah with his hawk and his electric baton in what appears to be an open field, and another one of Proximus Caesar in the same way in an open field. These images are more focused on the apes. While we were doing the analysis of these new images, the IMAX trailer of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes was released, a trailer that reveals Noah's motivations for confronting Proximus Caesar, which we had discussed in a previous video. So in the next video, we will be analyzing the new trailer in depth, one that reveals great details about the movie. There are also big rumors that we'll be seeing a new trailer any day now, one that will be focused on May's story and in which her origin will possibly be revealed. But tell me, what do you think about all this? Why do you think May is wearing that type of clothing? What do you think these images mean for the future of Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on The Oasis Geek.